my show. We are live here from Bharata Jangal Electronic City branch. I'm Dr. Tanuja. Uh, I hope you have been enjoying all our talk shows throughout the past few weeks. This is an awareness show and uh, we're very happy to be with you uh, every week. So uh, today we are right now in Electronic City. So why don't we just go inside? Last week we were showing you our clinics and everything that was there. So let's go inside and uh, it's a Sunday. It's a busy day for us. Please follow me. So we are having cases, uh, so this is a uh, regular day and uh, this is our reception area where uh, all the patients wait. Uh, we have entertainment as TV and uh, they also have magazines and everything. So they will be waiting while they are waiting for the doctors to call them in. So before we move inside, I would like to introduce our team of doctors from Electronic City. So uh, let's go inside and meet our doctors. Hi. So this is our wonderful team from Electronic City. Uh, I would like to introduce them. So I'm uh, Dr. Malti, maxillofacial surgeon and implantologist of Electronic City branch. I'm Dr. Ashley. I'm the resident endodontist and aesthetic dentist in Electronic City branch. Hi, I'm Dr. Anu and I'm the periodontist here at ECT. And I'm Dr. Tanuja and I'm a maxillofacial radiologist and cosmetologist, ECT branch. So uh, last week we had this uh, very nice uh, show where all the doctors were showing all different branches of Partha Dental and each branch how all the facilities are available. So you had a hands-on or a, you know visual experience as to what was happening in each clinics and what how the doctors are going about by their daily days and their practice and everything. So today we would like to give you the experience of uh, how patients feel with us on a regular day, how, what are their reviews, how do they find our treatments and how we go about on a regular day. So just a brief introduction to our clinic again. You can see this is our sterilization room and uh, you can follow me and this is our reception area. So the whole point of the reception area is, is to receive our patients. We have a beautiful uh, assistant who is in the front desk here. Let me just introduce her. She is Ms. Banupriya. So, yeah. Hi, welcome to Partha Dental. My name is Banupriya. I am friend of this in uh, Partha Dental Electronics City, Bangalore. Please come. Okay. So, uh, on a regular day, uh, Manupriya, why do we uh, take uh, a, a card like this? What is the purpose of a card? Like because, a rupee card? Uh, we are giving patient to with this card and we are asking to fill personal details and generally medical details. Yes. And after that, we are giving to consult the doctor and we have uh, entered everything in software. So you and need to say all the patient's yes, details yes. are always with us. Yes. See, that is something that we have in Partner Level that, you know, it's, it's not just the card that your details are always in a good software yes. and the yes. software is always accessible by the front office. So once you fill out all your details, they just need to come and... Yes. Yes. Everything they have to fill. So once they give, give, your, give the phone number and then you can get all the details, even if the resident doctor is not available, the other doctors who are there can easily access your details inside. So uh, how do you how do you find uh, you know uh, you know working in Partha Dental and what was the experience here? Your experience is such a wonderful mm -hmm. and patients are so very 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 like that you are coming to Partha Dental and everything is very good treatment also very good. Here. So uh, is is uh, according to you is everything organized and how do you follow up if the doctors also follow up the patients? Uh, do you also have this habit of uh, calling the patients and reminding them of appointments? Every time once where patient is visiting, next time we are calling every, every patient and asking about uh, what, what, what is the problem and now uh, how is patient. So other than the doctors calling the patients, you also have yes. yourself also calling them. So this is what we do in Partha Dental. Definitely if the doctors also call you and also at one point they, uh, the uh, our front office also calls you and gives you a reminder as to uh, when they should come for the appointments, when the appointments are needed and uh, if you forget your appointment, be mm -hmm. sure that Partha Dental will give you a call for yes. all the appointments. As you know, we are a group of uh, chain of clinics which we are in Hyderabad, Telangana, Bangalore and it is worldwide right now and we are we are having we are going we are having great infrastructure with great modern facilities and we have everything as in the uh, OPG machines and lot of uh, modernized technologies. So this is an OPG machine which we have shown you in the last uh, quite a couple of shows and lot of other clinics also have 
all these facilities. So today we will just walk in and see what uh, our doctors are up to. So today we have, uh, this is the operating room one. So what is happening here today, Manupriya? Uh, today is pedo cases is doing doctor. Okay, I Sundays are usually team. for uh, pedo cases yes. because children, it's an off on a Sunday definitely. Yes. So we have uh, the children coming in. So um, we have our uh, consultant and resident doctor, Dr. Anandita with us. She's on a case. So let's go in and see what's happening there. Hello, doctor. Hi, doctor. Yeah, hi. Hi, Dr. Anandita. Can you just introduce yourself to our... Uh, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Partha Dental FD Life. I'm Dr. Anandita, uh, pedodontist. So today uh, I have a very uh, nice patient with me, Arna. Say on, hi Arna. Say hi. It's our uh, FD Life chat. So before no? we talk to Arna, I would like to just discuss with Arna's ma'am. Uh, how are you, madam? Good. How yes, yes, I'm good too. So how was your experience here at Partha Dental when you came in? Uh, this is my first time and when I came in here, yeah. uh, this is for my child's teeth. Treatment. He's okay. having cavity over here. Okay. And it's like totally, uh, she explained me each teeth, what it is required, how it is required. Totally decision on me, yes. what I have to get it done. Not any forcing or anything. Yes. I'm quite happy with the. Were you comfortable as soon as you entered that yes, clinic? Yes, sure, sure, sure. Yes. Not much meeting, waiting time was the. No, much waiting. And the reception staff treated me very well. Very well, yes. 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 You're feeling comfortable and safe to bring your child there? Definitely, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, we'll go over to the doctor and uh, let us, doctor, what is the treatment that you're planning so, for our child here? Yeah, so he has several cavities. Mm -hmm. So uh, the minor cavities have been done today with a simple restoration of glass or cement. Okay. And we will, on the next sittings, we will continue with uh, root canal treatment and caps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Because uh, the first time he is visiting our clinic, so we have started with the most simplest and uh, painless procedure so that the child gets accustomed to us okay. and uh, there is a bond between the dentist and, and the child, child, which is very important. Which is actually the most important, important part. Thing. Whenever we are talking about... Would you like to introduce your patient to us? Oh, my patient is very joyful. Yeah. Say hi, Anna. Can you say hi? <laughs> okay. Uh, can you just ask Anna if he's, uh, you know... Are you happy, Anna? With me? Do you like me? Can you give me a high five? Yay! <laughs> like this. Yes. yes. So that's how I, uh, you know, assure that everybody is happy with me. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right now, doctor is going to have a treatment as. A yeah. As I told, that we will have the GIC restoration the, with a class one uh, cavity. And uh, after that, uh, today will be that, that much. Since itself. a lot of uh, yeah. you parents, every all the parents out there are quite inquisitive and curious to know how the child is being treated at Partha Dental, we just wanted to show this is a regular Sunday. Yeah. A child has come here, he's very the comfortable for the first time. This is his first visit. So we had a talk with him, we had a talk with his mom, and uh, they're going to undergo the treatment procedure. So I'll leave you, doctor, to the procedure yes. while uh, you know we carry on. Just uh, go ahead, doctor. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> Finally, you can say bye. Okay. Hi all. Uh, this is our second treatment room. Um, we have met my uh, other doctor colleague, who is Dr. Arno. She is a periodontist. So, hi, Dr. Arno. Hello. Uh, you're back in your work. Yes. In action, right here, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we have a case here. Um, so can you just explain what the case is in, uh, hello sir, how are you? Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, what is this patient who came here okay. for, what is it? He thing? came with a complaint of pain in his left lower jaw region. Left lower jaw region. Uh, can you let the patient himself tell why he came for here and what, what was the thing that he came, what was his complaint? So let him explain. Okay. Why? Okay, so um, to explain it in short, he had a pain in his left lower jaw and he came here for treatment and we did a consultation and uh, doctor will explain as to what kind of treatment plan we have advised for him. Yeah. Uh, when he came, he had pain in his left lower jaw region and on intraoral examination, we found that uh, his tooth is vertically erupted and it is in, in line with the uh, horizontal plane, his bite is normal and therefore we found that his upper tooth, one of the cusp, 
is going and hitting the other uh, cusp on the lobe which is covered by gums. Why doctor, uh, he did not want to go for any extraction or... Uh... It was in, in, in the same plane, it okay. was completely erupted and it was only that his upper cusp was impinging on his gums and therefore uh, on his gums and therefore we thought we will uh, cut it off and we are using the modern technology of uh, laser we have a laser unit yes. over here and uh, which will give him a very pain, will give him a painless uh, treatment uh, procedure which will be which where he will have no bleeding as well mm -hmm. so this is an advanced technology here if uh, your camera can come into uh, this is the laser so uh, before uh, doctor is going to do the procedure we are going to uh, what we do here at Parthar is before we uh, even do the treatment we also have an overall checkup and again we have to see the x-ray right doctor yes. so uh, let's go ahead and we see the x-ray the patient has already undergone an OPG or called as an orthopandemogram uh, if you come here I would like to explain to you again what an orthopandemogram is it's called an OPG x-ray machine it's a 2D machine Last time we did show you how it rotates around the patient and how an x-ray is taken. This is for uh, just a clinical, uh, to confirm a clinical diagnosis. And when we do that, we go over and our team of doctors, whoever is, uh, uh, who is resident there, we have a one-on-one -on -one discussion as to what can be the best treatment for our patient. So today here we had Mr. Kumar's uh, x-ray right here. So doctor, we, we took an x-ray, right? Sir? Yes. So uh, can you just tell us... Uh, erupted okay. and it is in the same plane as that of the uh, uh, if doctor can just show see this is the tooth and it's erupted so it is on the same plane, same plane. so we need not get it extracted it's only that his upper uh, cusp is going and hitting the lower gum which is covering it so we just need to cut it and relieve him and he is also happy with the fact that he is not losing a tooth or doctor why are we going for laser laser because it's painless and there's no bleeding happening uh, during the procedure mm. and post-operatively also he'll be very comfortable. So patient will experience a, experience a very uh, pleasant yes. uh, uh, yes. kind of pain. Yes. So let us go and let's see how uh, Dr. Anu is uh, going so here we assure safety of the patients during the laser day. We we'll ask them to wear the laser glasses. And uh, this is to assure that there is no problem with the, uh, you know, when the uh, air, when the laser is being used. The doctor is also made to wear. And um, doctor, uh, laser as in, uh, uh, can you explain a little bit more about what this technology okay, is? This is a diode laser, which and is can used. You just, uh, show. This is a diode laser which is used for soft tissues. And uh, this, these are the three indication modes. This one will be a continuous mode, this will be in interrupting mode and this will be a pulsating mode. So I am using 1.8 watt uh, to cut the uh, gum, uh, to cut, cut the gums, gums. and uh, this is the articulating paper which I am using to activate it. Mm -hmm. So we can see that doctor right now is going to do a laser, a minor surgical procedure called as operculectomy by just removing a little bit of the gums. And you can see the patient is very comfortable. He is already counseled on what treatment he has to go for. He is not scared. Like everybody is very apprehensive as to, uh, you know, uh, no laser will be painful. And he's already been given a local anesthesia. He's very calm. And he's not apprehensive as to what the doctor is going to do. There's a lot of confidence which is built between the patient and the doctor. And that's what Pata Dental is all about. So here, uh, doctor, you're going to do the... Yeah. Procedure now. Please have a look at how the procedure is being done. And after this procedure, we can definitely see, uh, we can take a follow up from Mr. Kumar. So, definitely, you should know uh, that Bartagandil is always uh, in favor of what the patient also has to say post the treatment. So, Dr. Anu, I'll leave you to the case.
medium. Hmm? So the procedure is done. It's just a two minute procedure and the patient has no pain. Doctor, thank you. Okay, uh, so the procedure is done. See, there, that is it. It was a five minute procedure. And uh, so patient is comfortable. There is no pain as such. So let's ask him. I mean, it's better that you always ask the patient, right? So, hi sir. Uh, can you just explain uh, how you felt? Treatment? I treatment for the treatment. I have a treatment for the pain. I have a treatment for the doctor. So, uh, is there any uh, anything else that the patient should be aware of the pre-treatment or post-treatment? Uh, anything that is not should... supposed to take anything warm. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be warm but not very hot food, no spicy food. Mm -hmm. And I'll put him on antibiotics mm -hmm. and that's enough. Okay. So, after antibiotics, but he looks very comfortable, doctor. Is this how all the patients are for your treatment? Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's very nice. Okay, uh, so thank you, Dr. Anu. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, we can thank see you. that the patient is very much uh, happy and he has no other, uh, you know, he is not, uh, he's how comfortable he was before the procedure, he's as comfortable after the procedure. So, uh, and you can see the doctor is assisted uh, by the assistant and everything is very comfortable, it's neat, it's sterilized. So, you can see even the procedure, how it was carried out so wonderfully. Thank you so much, doctor. So, um, we can just go uh, to the next. So, hi, doc. So, what's the next case that is there today? Case. So, we have uh, one more case. It's a Sunday, it's a busy day for us. So, yes, we have one case right here. Yes. So I just wanted to see whether I'll just review her, yes. whether everything is fine. Okay. And the patient is pretty comfortable with the treatment. Okay. So I'll just do a checkup. Okay. So this was a patient who came for uh, regular uh, uh, removal of the wisdom tooth or what we call as an impaction. So uh, right now uh, we just go over to the patient. Can you just tell us uh, why did you come here and what was your problem and what was the pain and how, you know, you were consulted? So patient, uh, sorry, patient was having a fear of injections. So doctor, when all the patients are having fear of injection, how do we go about by we, what is the procedure? What, how to handle, yeah, handle fear. fear? Fear. The main thing what I would tell is like was irrespective even being in the, our profession, yes, a medical profession, but we have to undergo. Obviously, it's not we that become scared. scared. Yes, we are fearful for the procedure. Yes. So what I, what personally, what I feel is like mm -hmm. first we need to counsel the patient. If simply we take up our instrument and start performing the treatment, they are not aware of what is going to happen yes. with them and what treatment is they are going to undergo and the fear will go on and it will increase more. So rather than that, I would expect that we will just first counsel the patient, speak to them and make them comfortable for the atmosphere yes. and about the procedure. So they, it will be simpler. They will accept that. Okay, fine. It starts on day one of a consultation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have fear of injection, you have fear of the procedure. We procedure. do not directly jump and go into go the procedure. Into procedure. We do a thorough consultation here. Yes. They make sure that, uh, you know, your entire treatment plan is carried, carried out. out. And uh, uh, counseling is done for people counseling. who have fear. Yeah. So there's always white and coat fear the and yeah. the injection fear. Ambience fear. Ambience fear, fear, yes. Fear of doctor, whatever. So first we will tell them, see, uh, we'll start with the local anesthesia. Yes. So what, we'll explain them what is this anesthesia and what is the purpose of giving an anesthesia. Yes. It becomes simpler. Mm -hmm. They will get understand because we can't expect all walking patients to be a dentist to understand exactly. everything. Exactly. So we we'll explain them what is anesthesia. So we use gel and uh, sprays and on surface anesthesia we use. So prior to the ingestion also, they don't have much of discomfort. So uh, one more thing, doctor. Now this patient has come for a follow-up. Yeah, yeah. Is a follow-up necessary after every? Uh, Obviously, uh, yeah, doc. 
because you know sometimes as we were then discussing yes. about these issues yes. in the yes. previous talks yes. so follow up and reviewing the patient is a very very important irrespective of whichever dental treatment for that matter and the things that we are very strict here especially in Patna Dental Electronic City branch and all the other branches that are there is that we have a very strict follow up schedule for our patients so that they feel comfortable, comfortable. and we know that the treatments have been carried out well and they do not suffer any post operative problems Pro right yeah okay so here we can see a normal regular follow up that's been carried out. So these are our autoclave instruments? Yes, uh, uh, just show doctor, everything is coming in an autoclave uh, yeah. uh, packet. See it's an autoclave packet and uh, it's uh, sterilized. So the patients are always, uh, you know, comfortable. Uh, is it something that, uh, is it something of your worry that, uh, you know, if, if instruments are sterilized or not, is that part of your worry other than mm. injections? You are very comfortable yeah. here at Parthen. See, our patients are very happy. So, doc, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to do a, a check -up. check up. Open them up. Yeah. The socket is healed well. We have done the suture removal also. So, the patient seems to be all fine. Open them up, ma. Are you comfortable with the procedure? Yeah. Uh, are you happy with the service of Partha Dental? I'm very happy with this treatment, but now I'm not having any pain. You don't have any pain? Mm -hmm. Your, before when you came, with she had come with a discomfort in opening and closing the mouth mm -hmm. and a fear of getting extracted and local anesthesia. So, is every, are you like fine now? Are you having yeah, a treatment? I'm fine. Fine, fine, fine. You don't have any, you didn't have, how, like, were you comfortable during the entire procedure? Mm -hmm. You didn't have any discomfort? No. Pain or something? No. Okay. So this is what we actually expect from her patients. So we always feel that their review is what which motivates us to be like serve them more and more. Hmm. Na, no? Yes, yes. So uh, your follow up is done. So how do you feel uh, post the treatment? Do you have a lot of pain or was it comfortable for you? No pain. No pain. No, no, no. Right. Have to do, uh, from this treatment. So happy. how were you greeted? Were, were you greeted? Were you happy entering into a partner about the services of all the doctors and everything? Are you happy about it? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, are all the tooth uh, required to... Okay, uh, ma'am, thank you so much. Uh, uh, so the follow-up is done. So, so we'll again review you, ma'am. We'll just check on. So everything is fine. We'll be expecting you for any further dental problems. You're always, we are there to help you out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so thank much. You so, much. so, um, so here, uh, doctor, can we just discuss on uh, which all teeth need to be removed and which all teeth can be saved? Uh, so, like, we have an indication, something called when we have to remove and not to remove a tooth. Okay. So, in, in case if the patient is having continuously like an infection mm -hmm. of the gums yes. over the third molar teeth, this is one of the reasons. Okay. Sometimes decay and impact the tooth, yes. the tooth is wrongly placed and there is a decay in it and this, that which leads to an infection, pain or kind of a swelling or discomfort of opening and closing the mouth. All these are the indications, the reasons why you have to remove the tooth. What if uh, like a patient is do not want to open the mouth at all, like I mean open the, I'm not sorry, open the mouth, they do not want to remove the tooth at all. So we'll first see whether it's really indicated. If the tooth is fine, it's like completely erupted. It's only the gums yeah. which is disturbing the patient. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, yes, like you have seen Dr. Anu perform yeah, the procedure, the right? Yeah, we the with our yeah. advanced treatment things. So what we call like, but removal of the yeah, gum. Whatever, because teeth is fine, it's completely in the mouth, completely erupted. Only the gums, what is disturbing the patient? Obviously, we will expect the, that kind of a treatment. We don't insist the patient to go for a removal. Okay. We we'll see whether it's really mandatory. Manage. If mandatory, obviously, yes, we'll remove the tooth. If not, then we would suggest for the brief procedure what Dr. Anu performed today. The uh, previous. All the, yes, all oh, this okay. opiculectomy or yes. if it is, has to go for a particular uh, removal, hmm. only by seeing an x ray and then huh, in case we we'll correlate, we we'll first check intra orally, yeah. we we'll take a radiograph which is a supporter for our diagnosis. Yes. Which we have in our path yes. So cumulatively, we'll come to a conclusion that this treatment would be best. We are not running around for any equipment over here yes. because, like as we saw, everything is yeah, inside. We are not giving, postponing the appointment no. so often. And the patient had a problem, and with laser, without discomfort, what was best for the patient? The previous patient, yes, Dr. Yes. Kumar, I'm yes. sorry, Mr. Kumar. Mr. Kumar, Kumar saw, right? yes. So he just wanted to go Mr. for Mr. Kumar was uh, not ready to go for uh, removal. removal of the tooth. And it was also that tooth was because it was everything fine. fine. 
period, uh, uh, advising to go for it. So it is like, uh, not like if you do not want to remove the teeth, it cannot be done. We have to actually clinically see and then with x-ray whether it can be or cannot be removed. A consultation with us will definitely make you understand whether that should be done or should not be done. Alright, uh, so I think we can move on. Uh, we see what is happening in the rest of the clinic. Hi, Ms. Bano. Uh, any cases that is happening right now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Oh, a root canal. Wow. Okay, so we can go ahead and see a root canal case also. Please follow me. Oh, hi, Dr. Ashley. Hi, doctor. <laughs> what is happening here today? Oh, okay. Always Sunday is a busy day for us in Electronic City. So the patient is there. Uh, so, so this patient is come for the review after root canal treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, now I am seeing whether the patient is asymptomatic so that so that I can go ahead with the cover measurement and then. root canal treatment is always called as RCT, no doctor. Yes. Uh, what is uh, root canal treatment? Like uh, when what is that whole thing about root canal means? Root canal treatment is something when the patient comes with pain. Hmm. The first there are so many indications for root canal treatment. The first thing is when the tooth is badly damaged mm. and if the patient is coming with pain, mm. when the decay is gone beyond a repairable state, yes. when the, the damage is irreversible, yes. at that point we go ahead with the good canal treatment. So, uh, as all of you who have joined us with us today, this is an awareness program and definitely I am just asking around uh, each the simple basic questions that all of you might be having out there, uh, whether be it root canal, whether be it a surgical procedure, a removal of the tooth. And so this is a regular day in our clinic and all the patients who are walking in, the treatment is being carried out. So I am here with you just to uh, give you an awareness so as to what is happening and what, uh, the, pre what the patient also feels. And also uh, today's show is exceptionally different because we are taking a review from the patient, a review from the patient's, you know, previously you saw that the patient's mother was there, how parents are apprehensive to bring their kids here and uh, once they reach here, all the apprehension and whatever discomfort that they feel that they're, they're completely you know happy once they're here uh, so uh, can this patient just uh, hi hi ma'am uh, what's your name uh, my name is Ashwini Ma Ashwini okay can you tell us why you came here for the treatment yeah before did I have pain here a lot of the pain did you have yeah. pain uh, throughout or just throughout the night uh, throughout the night throughout yes. the night I have pain here just I like came for treatment mm -hmm. and they told me they can't see mm. and I'm done with now Okay, okay. Uh, what was the pain more when you were having hot food, cold, cold food, or was it like just hot food? Hot food, full yeah. hot food when you were having, you were having the pain. Yes, Did you take any sort of tablets and was it relieved? Before that, I took tablets. Yes. Now I'm okay with that. Okay. Nothing is a pain so sometimes when some patients when there is a lot of pain they tend to take tablets doctor is is taking tablets for a very uh, decayed tooth a good thing over the time they keep on taking tablets and the pain just comes down is that a good thing taking antibiotics is always necessary mm -hmm. as a prophylactic measure prophylactic yes yeah okay but doing the treatment is more important than mm -hmm. yes taking the antibiotics right? okay so uh, our patient here had a lot of pain when she came initially so after doing the root canal treatment, how did you feel, ma'am? It's good, ma'am. Okay. Good. It was the pain uh, relieved immediately, or it took some two three days for you to uh, two, two, two days, two days, two days for the pain. initial yeah, pain. There was nothing to pain, ma'am. Okay. It was good, ma'am. And how long was your procedure with the doctor? More than it was, did it, uh, it was a short duration or it took a long time? It's a short duration. Short duration. So you were comfortable with yes, your... Doctor is good with <laughs> Okay, we have good uh, review from all our doctors. So here when you come, you can do a single setting RCT, doctor? Yes. yes. Or you can have your RCT scheduled in appointments. appointments. Uh, are all the cases good to go ahead with a single setting root canal treatment? No, not all the cases. When the tooth is infected and when there is an abscess present, mm. then we have to wait for the abscess to come down and then we will be going ahead. We will be starting the root canal and we will be cleaning whatever infected tissues are there within the root canal. We will be taking it out and we will be cleaning. We will be making sure that the tooth is completely disinfected. Disinfected. Then so root canal means uh, uh, simple terms is cleaning the tooth. Cleaning the tooth. He's just cleaning the tooth and uh, disinfecting the tooth. And filling the root canal and sealing it so that there won't be any further 
infection happen. happening. Yes, yes. So uh, we can see that today doctor is doing a follow up. So in a follow up of root canal, what is that uh, you do, doctor? First of all, I will see the the permanent filling is intact or not. Okay. And if it is intact, mm -hmm. then I focus and see whether the tooth is having any pain or not. Yes. So patient uh, came with us with the pain of that tooth. Now doctor is uh, all of you must be experiencing when the when you first come to the dentist, the doctor will open the uh, open your mouth and they tap on the teeth. It is just to see that if any sort of infection is there, when you tap on the teeth, you will experience pain. Right now when the doctor is tapping, are you having any pain, huh? No, ma'am. No. So it's very good? Yes. Okay. So patient is having no pain and the root canal is it's completed. completed. Okay. Okay. And uh, doctor, can you tell me uh, what are all these uh, instruments that you use for your root canal? So this root canal treatment is something which involves, I told, as I have told you, we have to clean inside the root canal. Initially, we will be taking the measurement of the root canal to which how long how, how deep we have to go and what is the length to which I have to uh, instrument. So for that we use something called Apex Locator. Doctor, this is a advanced technology which yes. is uh, we follow in part yes, yes. right? So before it was, uh, we only use yes. these kind of instruments. Yes, yes. Which are like, can you, if you can zoom here, these are this um, rotary type of instruments which we These are hand files. Yes. So now we are moving on to the rotary instrumentation. So, in this we use endomotor, something called endomotor and this is very comfortable to the patient as well as the doctor uh, and the treatment will be, I will just demonstrate how it does. So, this is something called rotary file, this is the endomotor, it is connected to the motor and we will be doing the procedure like the instrumentation so like it will this. move uh, if you can zoom it see it's moving can you see how beautifully the instrument is rotating and you can see that we need not use you can use your hand pen, but uh, this will give you a better precision better position as to and what is happening right yes so uh, a patient becomes comfortable and you need not have a long long duration. duration of the treatment how long does a, a, a regular one setting take for you doctor uh, in uh, in 30 minutes to 45 minutes, we, it will get over. Like if it's single set. If it's single set. And if, uh, when do we give uh, the patients an opportunity to be, make it two settings or single setting? Or is it the patient can, uh, you know, under, uh, take the call of having a single setting? No, nothing like that. It depends on the amount of infection person. So first we, uh, we, we are following a particular protocol here. First we will clinically examine how the infection is and we will be doing the radiographic examination and we will see how the infection, is there any infection underlying the root and is there any abscess present that and all we will confirm. Then we will be uh, making a call that whether it has to go for a single sitting or double sitting. And uh, previously, one of our resident doctors was uh, showing us the laser. Yes. So, what is uh, laser root canal treatment? Laser treatment. This is something called. This is this is this laser root canal is something. Laser we are do, um, using as an adjunct to the mechanical instrumentation. So, so you will be doing this and yes, laser along with that laser laser light will be passing in, into the root canal treatment. So into the root canal so that whatever infectious or bacteria which is not visible with our naked eye will be removed with the laser light. Laser light. light. Okay. Uh, so uh, how are you feeling with the whole experience in Partha Dental as of now? Very nice. Okay. I was happy with you were happy. And uh, how was your the day when you entered the clinic? Uh, what was it? Uh, what was it in your uh, this thing? What you wanted treatment for that tooth for the pain, right? So when once the consultation was done, were you happy with the consultation? You're not having any pain. So that is the whole point. You're not having any pain and you're comfortable with it. So your doctor, your follow-up today is over? Yes. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much, Dr. Ashley. And that's how we have the root canal specialist here with one of her patients. She's going to continue uh, with her treatments. Thank you, Dr. Ashley. So, uh, so we are still having our OBs coming in. So meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, uh, just want you all of you to know this is an
awareness program and we are here uh, in Partha Dental Live and we chat show every 2 to 4 p.m. You can ask us any sort of questions you have related to dental. So, uh, so any one of us is there, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of uh, people that is around uh, for, uh, you know, who wants to know certain questions, who wants uh, to answer certain questions and everything. So we are here to help you out. You can ask us any question. And for those people who want to book an appointment with any one of our resident doctors, please feel free to log into www.pathadental.com, book an appointment with any one of us. And uh, you can also uh, call in our toll-free numbers. And these are available and you can just log into the website to get to know where your nearest branches are. So we also have, a, uh, don't fear if you feel that the treatments are very expensive. You need not worry. As we told in all the shows, we have two uh, swords with us always. It is the Capital Float and the Bajaj. So in uh, Capital Float and Bajaj, what happens is as soon as you walk in and you are given the treatment estimates, uh, we, you will be able to analyze as to you know, uh, whether you can afford this treatment or not. But you need not worry. Why? Because uh, Bajaj will help you with uh, no EMI policy. I mean, it will be done, you, it is a monthly, uh, uh, you know, financial uh, planning that can be done and you can afford any treatment on day one itself in Partha Dental. So right now, uh, doctors are sitting together, we are having some discussion here. So, so this is always a part after we uh, finish, uh, <laughs> yeah, after we finish a uh, certain amount of follow-ups, and you can see patients are still coming in. So during our free time, what we do is we discuss on our cases that are being done throughout the day or cases that are to be there tomorrow. Sure. Yeah. yeah, we want a joint opinion from joint the doctor. It's no wrong in taking an opinion who's been specialized yes. in that particular case. Yes. So uh, for example, uh, uh, there is a case with us in, uh, scheduled for a full implant case, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we can say that, uh, can we just introduce ourselves once again to know yeah, that uh, who is who and which yeah. branch is, uh, you know, specialized in what? And why we sit as a group of uh, doctors to analyze the, uh, you know, case okay. and then give the exact treatment plan for the patient. So it's not like uh, one doctor does a consultation and the patient goes off, no. Uh, once the consultation is done, we all have a group discussion because it's a different branch with a different speciality. So for a particular case, we can now discuss on uh, is the implant case that is uh, being uh, yeah, scheduled. Yeah, we have scheduled in a full non-implant case. So Dr. Tanuja had consulted the patient. So the patient came with a complaint that they have, have all the most of the teeth in the mouth is mobile. Means it is moving. And they are very, like, even their social life is disturbed because she's unable to speak. And she has the fear that her tooth is all loose and it doesn't look good. Yeah. And then, then we got a patient and we were discussing like what has to be done. So they were like we, Dr. Tanuja and myself and then uh, Dr. Anu, we all were like discussing about the cases. Like, she was yes. completely paranoidly compromised. What yeah. the can is the session, bone mm -hmm. was completely reserved. Yes, sir. But uh, she was perfectly fit for uh, implantation. Okay. So we had suggested for diagnostic extra, I mean, yes. one more added diagnosis. Yes. Because the patient was very precise about like, yes. oh, they want a very perfect, like, they want a very good treatment. Yeah. So they were like, is there something like we can accurately what treatment you want to do and what's yes. the procedure and everything. So we took an OPG and we all decided that yes, we can go ahead with the implant treatment for that particular patient. Then so we before uh, we all talk into what implant, uh, those will be not aware of what is an implant yeah. doctor. Yeah. So let's do, just go to the basics of what is an implant. Yeah. And then uh, we will move on to a discussion for that uh, particular case as to why we were thinking of an implant for that patient. So here we have, uh, if you can come in a little more, a uh, friendly cameraman. Yeah. So here we have uh, something, uh, this is the jaw, okay. This is the jaw, that is your lower no, mandible. mandible, which we call as a mandible. So this is your jaw and this is where your uh, jaw structure is aligning and these are where all your teeth are placed. Supposed to yeah? be placed. So uh, see, you can just see in both of this. So you can see that there's the teeth in the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. So you can see that both the jaws simultaneously and this jaw has no teeth. Hmm. This jaw has So teeth. what this implant is like, it's like a material, it's a very friendly material, it doesn't hmm. harm anybody most of the time 
and uh, we place this inside in the space of a root. So as you have seen here, you have a two, which is two parts. One which is visible in your mouth is the, called as a crown. And something is within the bone is called the root. It's the base of your teeth. So what happens in this implant is it takes form of a root, which acts like a root and in which, with the help of this, for example, you can see this. Okay, so... Sorry. So you can see right here, we have implants which is like placed inside the the jawbone. Okay, so you can see this is a uh, like a screw like uh, huh. uh, uh, material. material. It's it is biocompatible for the body. body. Uh, will this cause any harm? No. No, no, no. It will not cause any harm to you. It is completely uh, you know accepted by your body. And uh, doctor, are all the cases? Uh, you know, good for an implant. Uh, in, in, if you see your period done this way, right? yes, so definitely. so you all the cases. Work. Yes, all the cases. Is in any systemic conditions available for the patient? Uh, yeah. uh, there is something called as relative, in which even though we have some systemic problems, okay. no matter if they are hypertension mm -hmm. or diabetic or any health, even post cancer treatment also we take an implant. Yeah. And rehabilitate the patient. Yes. So implant is not there is no direct contraindication other than we call it as a dispersion therapy or yes. systemic bone disease. But that's really rare of the rare. Okay. So it's like no, we can't go for an implant treatment. It's not always happening. Now okay. we only see whether the patient, if they even have any diabetes or hypertension or any for that systemic disease for that matter, we'll make sure the patient is taking proper medications. And we take an opinion, fitness opinion from the physician, okay. and most of the time it will be yes only. Yes. So, so uh, what we want to tell you is that yes, implants can be done on anyone. There is no absolute contrary. Oh, absolute absolute contraindication yes. is very you know less. is is very less. And uh, right now in Father Dental, we have done almost more, more than lax. more than lakhs and lakhs of treatment. Uh, you know, for implants alone. Mm -hmm. So as we showed here, implant can be placed, and on the single day itself, we can give you. A prosthesis, or which is known as a, you know a temporary crown or temporary placement, which you will like. Yeah. There are many Look people. It used to be like uh, if somebody gets hit yes. and they fell or they broke the tooth. Mm. So it is like your uh, if it's not in a restorable stage, like yes. you can't do a root canal treatment, or if you can't, the tooth is broken in such a way yeah. where root canal is not possible, then you have to do something called as uh, can you come to close one? This something called as FPD, like a fixed partial denture, where you are supposed to take a, shape the adjacent two teeth and go for a prosthesis. I mean, fix it partial denture like this. But now these days, because we make sure that if the patient is a really ideal patient for an implant placement, then we'll see to that we're not touching any yeah. adjacent tooth structures, and it's like we don't take much time. We can place the implant on the day of your trauma only, no problem. We will make sure everything is sterile and the procedure doesn't fail. And we will start with the implant and we will give you teeth in to within 2 to 4 hours. So don't worry that if you fall or break teeth, you have to wait for some treatment and all. It's nothing like that. Okay, doctor. So we have this case yesterday. She is a 75 year old female patient. Mm -hmm. uh, she's come yesterday. Uh, she's got around uh, maximum around 10 teeth left. And uh, so I just uh, I wanted to ask Dr. Anu because uh, she has uh, she's a diabetic. And almost all her bone is also not, uh, you know, uh, healthy. healthy. So, uh, can you, you, yesterday's case as we saw it, can it be saved? That tooth can be saved with any gum therapy? Or uh, what is your call on that case, particular case? I'll have to first check on the x-ray, the OPG, which will give me a two-dimensional, which is a two-dimensional image, which will help me assess the amount of bone that is available. Huh. There's a good amount of bone available, but in yesterday's no case, bone. I think uh, the bone was less, right? So yesterday's case, uh, the patient, even though uh, he had pathological migration and uh, the tooth was slightly extruded, uh, and the bone defect was a vertical bone defect. Yes. In that case, we could definitely go ahead with uh, bone grafting along with a PRF treatment, which would enable his bone to regenerate. What about root canal, doctor? That uh, since bone is not there, that patient could have he had, have a, he have he had a one more tooth. Huh. See, uh, upper uh, lower, she had one uh, infection. Like she had DK, which is progressed uh, beyond the normal filling stage. Mm -hmm. So, will that when root canal can be done in that? Uh, if the can bone root canal be done on that case when there is no bone? See, yes, see we, now right now what we are discussing here is a normal case that came a 75 year old uh, female patient. Uh, so we are having her uh, all her documents right here. 
all our x-rays so we what we do here is right now we are discussing whether that case can it be saved by perio yeah. i mean can it be a gum surgery be done and save the tooth a root canal be done and save the tooth or can it be you know can we just uh, directly go and uh, for a next advanced treatment procedure so we do not directly tell you go for an implant no that we just have a discussion here so right now what dr anu is telling with that particular patient the bone was less right so, and uh, you wouldn't find that uh, treatment by gum therapy would save that uh, tooth in the long run is that so? all the teeth can could be saved in, in that patient Ma maximum how many teeth could have been could be saved for that patient this particular patient this particular patient will be three or three four, or four. Because the others are way to beyond it okay way to beyond it but what about dr ashley like th this case you have seen you have seen how the teeth is how the condition is so can it be repaired uh, with root canal as you have shown before since it is periodontally compromised mm. and we can see the dk has gone way, way beyond mm. so that it is it is a irreversible state mm. so we can't uh, for the long term prognosis when we see i don't think we can say it mm -hmm. like this. this was the patient's uh, previous uh, condition of the teeth uh, it was uh, it, you can see here please come here so you can see there's a lot of uh, tooth that are missing and uh, the gums are uh, periodontally compromised and so this is what dr anu uh, here right now a periodontist senior resident what she is telling is this tooth uh, doing a gum therapy will not uh, no no so we there have is mobility in this case okay so it's grade 3 mobile okay. so we can't do anything about it but her molars can uh, be can be saved because it's kind of strong mm -hmm. just that there is a vertical defect at one point mm. where we can actually regenerate bone over there by putting a prr for a bone graft okay and for me also as i see this case uh, there is a lot of uh, bone loss uh, even radiologically yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah. but uh, it is a good case i feel uh, if uh, root canal also is not done no doctor mm -hmm. so in this case uh, why did you uh, say that root canal cannot be done you were just explaining to us poor prognosis poor prognosis poor when we see the no, long prognosis means uh, what like uh, uh, we said longevity of the treatment. treatment so you can attempt a root canal on this case sri's case that we are seeing you can attempt a root canal but what doctor is trying to tell is that longevity of that root canal is not there so uh, discussion with our uh, perio department says that no this cannot be saved so our uh, the endo or the root canal specialist says it can be saved but uh, long run it's not good so we will uh, from my suggestion also which is a bone is a little less and then um, uh, a permanent solution is needed for this case right doctor if we continue to keep the tooth there there would be again loss of bone continuing to happen if we extract the tooth right away and put an implant we can at least preserve the preserve bone that is the height of height the bone is so an implant is again the uh, the biocompatible material which is called titanium, titanium. Huh. so it's the material like it just takes this it doesn't we don't cut bone or open up bone make space for it nothing like that it just moves around and the implant goes and stays inside the bone and it'll be very strong enough to hold the cap so these in our part that until it's like we use a better systems of implant so what happens is like it's we don't wait that we uh, not all cases we wait them for a rehabilitation we can instantly go for an implant placement and we can give the crown as you all told we work as a team of specialists in apartha dental so we make sure that things go hand in hand in a one shot so that all treatments will get over instantly and doc we were discussing about the implant placement right so finally we all thought that considering the patient's age and the condition of the oral hygiene and the bone level with the x-ray cumulatively we felt that placing an implant and giving her a it would be the ideal way of treating her exactly. so okay. right though yes. so even doctor is also for our like we cumulatively together we plan that so we are not the tooth are not in the salvageable or restorable yes. stage so we felt it's fine now we we'll go for an implant yeah. and what one positive doc the when they came in they were telling that implants is this very expensive we've heard yeah. and we're not able to go we need to tell doctor that you can always go for yeah. uh, bajaj apartha uh, dental has an added advantage over all other uh, branches is that we have the bajaj we have the capital floor yeah. you just need to come in we are her team of doctors so you can see us this is our regular day we sit like this every day with your cases in our hand as soon as you leave our clinic 
this is what we do. We have a discussion as to what can be the best, best. treatment for you. So once I note down what is there for this patient, a treatment plan is in. This is how we do the treatment planning. An opinion is taken from each and every individual doctor Specialist. and uh, we, uh, the specialist opinion is taken and we will see that this treatment is what is best for. For this patient, so though we tried all the other ways of saving the tooth, it cannot be done Save. and uh, on, the long run. on the long run an implant is what uh, we yes. all feel yes. is apt. So that is how we write, we write down the treatment protocol and then document all the details. Document all the details. The patient is also consulted after the before and prior and even all after the, the patient days. comes, we will tell them that this is what is done and uh, during and after the treatment the whole specialist, the team will definitely be with you throughout the whole procedure. Yeah. So you will have your... Uh, you Don't know, have any uh, cases like this is speaking about the Yes, cases. yes. We how need to show the them... Cases, show like them we have a case over here. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. previous case, case, if you just okay. follow, follow me. Um, so... <clears throat> so we had a patient uh, who had come with us again with a problem of uh, the full uh, teeth being mobile. So the mobile teeth, it was there and the patient was very concerned. She was a young lady and he was very concerned as to what can be done. She was only 35 years old. What can be done for her teeth? It was fully mobile. We tried saving it by gum therapy, gum rejuvenation and everything. But uh, it did not, it was not, uh, in the long run, it was not happening for her. So we suggested, uh, after a group discussion, we suggested her to go for a full removal of her teeth, which is called as a full extraction, and then replacement with implants, right? So our uh, team will come and we'll just explain to you what it is. This is her pre-op x-ray. Please zoom in. If you actually look into it, there's hardly any bone to support the teeth. So we extracted all her teeth. I'll just show you her uh, how her teeth was in uh, before. If you look at it, her gums are all inflamed. The gums have moved up. Mm -hmm. There's hardly any teeth there available. So here again, you can see, see all the dirt there. The gums dirt. are all inflamed. You can see over here also how much of dirt is present because of which her gums have receded down. And the, uh, actually the bone has been uh, eaten up and it's, it's receded along with which the gum has also receded and uh, the tooth are mobile. And uh, so this is after we had placed mm -hmm. her implant. So here the, you can see that implants are placed. Uh, doctor, can you explain as to how was this implant protocol being yeah, carried yeah. out? So uh, after we just we uh, checked the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, we, as doctor told, doctor had consulted the patient. And, and we then, saw that the, even yeah. I was telling that the x-rays, as we showed here her previous x-rays, uh, we once we saw these x-rays, it did not give us a clear-cut idea as to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, can we go save all the tooth. Saving all the tooth was uh, not, uh, you know, uh, done in this case. We could not you do You may it. feel that all, oh, there are so many teeth in the patient, why need, we need to go for removal? But there's something called as bone which holds the tooth. If that is not strong enough, then obviously, yes, the tooth will not stay. stay. Then she was a very questionable patient, like whether really implants will work for her. So and hardly any bone no, really the bone. The quality of the bone was also, also not very appreciable. Yeah. We took another x-ray called as the CBCT. CBCT. A CBCT is uh, another distinction of the x-ray which is called as a 3D dimensional x-ray. Uh -huh. So before we go into the implant, the CBCT yeah. will give us a 3D view of it. View of it and we can give a very precise diagnosis with that. Like what should be the width of the implant or the length of the implant we would choose to make the best of the treatment for the patient. So later we, can, we don't have to regret for uh, doing a mal calculation with the implant sizes and all. So, so this one you would see the... If you can zoom in, please, please come in. So you can see that after removing the tooth and placing the implants, we gave her a, a temporary CD, a denture. So she was very happy with it. The treatment process is still going on. And uh, this can be done even for a single tooth. This is another case where you can see that, you know, uh, full um, implants are placed in the upper and lower. And this is a welding procedure. Welding procedure. Where like we uh, added support or strength for an implant by the, on which we are going to give the prosthesis. That is nothing but the teeth which were, for which the patient has walked in. Yeah. So this all advanced techno so technology 
okay i know advanced technology what we are like uh, doing in our path at dental and now we'll just see we have got another patient waiting over there doctor okay there's a so patient our, yeah, yeah. okay so okay come on to the patient so uh, as we said there is a lot of uh, patients which we would like the show is all about making you also feel that uh, you know the patients needs to tell how they experience here in partha dental it is definitely we show you our labs we show you our rooms we show you our instruments we show you our doctors but uh, one part we never show you is the patients are the patients happy are patients happy with the treatment uh, so we just uh, go over and I'll just uh, come patients oh patients that okay fine hello hi sir please come in so hi doctor come in hi sir hi doctor Yeah, so this is one of our patients, and uh, uh, sir, can you just briefly explain as to why you came here? Uh, so actually, in beginning, actually, I had this accident, so I lost my uh, front two teeth, and uh, then I came here. I consulted two, three other, but I found this the best, and uh, every procedure was uh, made clear to me, and all. We got a good discount also. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, did you find it very expensive? It was okay. It was okay. It was affordable. It was affordable. Okay, and what was the treatment? Uh, what was the complaint that you had actually? I actually lost two teeth. So one was removed fully, okay. and uh, the other one had cap and uh, just was placed. Mm-hmm. So just that. Yeah, and the went uh, doctor. What was the treatment? What did we do for this uh, case exactly? Actually, initially when he came, he came with broken two teeth, front mm-hmm. teeth, mm-hmm. after trauma, okay. and one was like vertically fractured. That means it was not in a saleable condition. Okay. So other one was horizontally fractured, and fifty percent of the tooth structure was present. So we did root canal treatment of that tooth and put a crown on top of it. On the other tooth, which was unsaleable condition, that we had extracted and we put an implant and crown. Uh, the root canal procedure took how long, sir? Was it a long procedure or a short duration? Happened in one day. Only. In one day itself. And uh, okay, uh, can you just show us uh, what is the uh, results? Results of our uh, treatment. So here, uh, doctor was telling that the patient came with pain and fracture, and we had consulted and diagnosed this case. We took an X-ray as we were showing you before, and we had a root canal treatment which was done, which is already shown in the other. Uh, room initially where uh, the root canal is nothing but cleaning and shaping off the tooth and it was a minor procedure and patient is very comfortable and uh, we are also telling we are also getting a review from our patient as to how he experienced the whole procedure his whole uh, experience right down in partha dental so uh, right now we are having a follow up and uh, doctor will show what is the case we see this is the final prosthesis given after root canal treat this tooth was root canal treated and cap is given and this implant it, it was extracted the old fractured tooth was extracted implant is placed and this is the final prosthesis smile sir so you can actually make out you cannot actually, you cannot make, actually out make out whether out whether treatment is done mm. it looks very natural yeah. what did your friend say sir <laughs> they say that they can't even figure out the difference between the actual tooth and the broken tooth. So you can see that the uh, patient is really happy, and uh, this is one of our happy patients. So when you walk into Parta, uh, don't be uh, scared. Uh, as we told you, don't be apprehensive. Definitely, we provide the uh, treatment with best results with best doctors. Thank you so much, sir. Please carry on. Thank you so much. And. Um, So uh, you can this is a wellness program you can always you know uh, join in us live every day 2 to 4 pm and uh, we are I'm Dr. Tanuja I'm a maxillofacial radiologist and cosmetologist we are here to always answer any of your questions and uh, this is an awareness program we are right down in Partha Dental please log in to any of our websites there's uh, www.parthadental.com or you can uh, have a toll free number in which you can call and uh, take an appointment with any of our doctors i hope you enjoyed uh, today's show because we were concentrating not only on our clinics but also on our patients today 
and it was uh, you know uh, it was a lively show where you can interact with the patient you can see our doctors you can see our doctors in action you can see what we do here and also with our assistants and the front office so always be uh, free to get in touch with us and have a consultation with us we'll give you the best uh, treatment available and uh, thank you so much and have a good day